you guys doing? How are you tonight, my little lovely sacrifices? How goes it? Oh, congrats, Astro and Luna, for getting the first. I see you got first this time. You beat B to the punch. And thank you, B, for the, the lurk redeem. I hope you're able to get some cozy munchies and get yourself all snuggly wuggly with your with your little mini and have a nice time. Everything struggled for a second. Oh, wowly zowie. All right. I think we're good, though. I think we're good. <laughs> All right. Well, hi, hello, hee hee, and welcome, my sweet, lovely snackrifices. I'm so happy to see you. I hope you've been having a delightful time zone so far today. Have you? Have you? Have you? If you haven't, tell me what's wrong, and I will destroy it for you. <laughs> Um, but how, how goes, how's, how's goes, my sweet little beans? Don't mind my snifflies, I took some allergy medicine, but it hasn't really done me any good. <laughs> Can you guys hear, I don't, my, my character model isn't responding as mouthwise as I want it to, but whatever, I, I did have to turn my volume gain down on my microphone. But whatever, we'll figure it out as we go. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. That's a me problem. It's not a you problem. It's a me problem. I'll just scoot my microphone a little closer. Um, okay. Um, I don't remember what happened aside from the fact that last stream, our dear beloved Mary left us. <sighs> Mary. Gonna miss her. Um... And then we went to Swiss Cheese Alley, and we got scared by by a homeless guy in a bomb shelter. Uh, and then some information on. Oh, Miss Zoo. That's right. We went to the elementary school with the snakes. There were lots of snakes and snacks. And then I had to take a science quiz. And then we found a naked lady. Who turned out to be a scientist. I think. What partner? Yeah, her, Madoka. We found Madoka-san. Um, she was really spooked by the, the paranormal, though, so I'm kind of worried about taking her with us. She might not be useful against the ghost. Because, like, we were talking about the ghost, and she started freaking out even though she said she wasn't. So, I don't know if we want to take her with us. That might not be good. Let's go with Toako. Let's go with Obachan. That's your voice? I thought you would sound more, more over-the-top dramatic. Well, that's fine. Um... What do we have in our bag of, of, of holding here? Twinkle, twinkle, little... Oh, no, wait. I have to have her with me because she needs to play Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star. Okay, hold on. I have to switch my partner to our pop song bestie. Ai Hime, let's go. And then hopefully I can switch her out before we have to fight the ghost because I don't want her to die. I'm going to try really hard not to let her, like, to, to make sure she doesn't die. But we'll see. Um, 
We want to go to H Elementary. So I don't, I don't. I don't it's been so long. I should have watched last week's or last time's stream. We return to H Elementary once more. If Hiro is to be believed, sorry. If Madoka, I won't call her Madoka so. If Madoka-san is, is to be believed, then what we saw in that classroom was Zukawa's doing. The missing teacher, Zukawa. There's no doubt that she had something to do with the birth of Miss Zu. Of Zu-sensei. Aw, we escaped from here only to come back again. That's kind of depressing. Wait, was that me or her? To get rid of the mark, we have no choice. We haven't been able to thoroughly investigate the room where we saved Hiro. Oh, the carcass room, the butcher room. I don't want to go there. Probably best to start there. Oh, boy. But she's going to be mad that we didn't finish our science tests. Let's go. I am not looking forward to this. All right. Okay, let's go. Oh, it was very dark for a second. <laughs> Can I? I thought I... Why can't I? It's not letting me use the arrow keys to go. What the? Okay, I guess I gotta use my... It's not letting me use my arrow keys. Oh, hi, music lover. Welcome. Hi. Oh, sound is off. Thank you. It's so very quiet in the game that I totally forgot. Thank you very much, B. The, well, the redeems are tied to the sound in the game because I have all of my audio coming from when I connect my headphones. So if I don't have the game audio on, you won't hear the redeems. Let me, let, let me, let me give you one for free. Hold on. Oh, name the animal should not be on there. Oops. Well, ignore name the animal, because we're not playing Stardew. Here, you can have this one for free. Come to daddy. There you go. There you go. You get, you get, you go, you go to daddy. Delightful. Delicious. Delicious daddy time. <laughs> okay, uh... Who's ready for a, a science test? I don't want to go up the stairs. Gotta have Fallout 3 dad Liam Neeson. Liam Neeson. <laughs> He's a brother, not a father. Oh. <laughs> uh. I don't want the announcements to go on. I'm going to scream. Why it's so quiet? Looks like the thing the bulletin board used to be at. Okay. Well, I was trying to... Oh, well, now the arrow keys work. Oh, wrong room. Okay. Was it this one? No? Wait. Okay, there we go. I thought it was gonna be like, it's gone now. <laughs> I feel like, where did all the bodies go though? Oh, oh God. Man. <laughs> <gasps> fuck you! The fuck was that? <sighs> I didn't like that. Okay. Okay. There are severed aminal heads lined up across the tops of the desks. Good, good for you. Let's touch it. Poke it with a stick. Knock it off the desk. It's late for class if it's not on the table. Gross. It'd be a great place to hide things. Uh, uh, I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. I steal myself before I put it. 
putting one hand on the head and shoving the other, uh, the other one up the severed neck. Oh God! Why? Oh, who knew an animal head would be this heavy? I don't like it. I don't like it. It's like lifting a bucket of water. Oh, gross. Oh, the sounds. I don't like it. After much struggling, I tip the head on its side. There's a cream-colored plastic object shoved, uh, shoved up the esophagus. Oh, this is gross. What is that? I don't know! I pull it out. I find a transistor megaphone? Hi, Bob! Um, trigger warning, lots of gore on the screen. I'm sorry. <laughs> I forgot where we left off. I should have put a trigger warning in the title. Why is there a megaphone? Why do I have a- For what reason was there a megaphone in your esophagus? The hell? Megaphones are used for school events and gatherings, so that's not so surprising. But what the hell was it doing up Aminal's neck? Was it there- Was there a need to hide it in an esophagus? Zukawa did bring countless Aminals here. Her bizarre, insane passion is obvious in this room. None that has pissed, but I did want to pop in and say hi. Well, I appreciate you popping in to say hi, Pop. I hope you're able to get lost of rest and, and feel better. I know sometimes we all have those kinds of days. Uh, yeah, that poor animal's throat, bro. I don't... Dokizudono, are you okay? Or Dokizu-san. Sorry, Dokizu don't know what Mary called me. Bye! Be safe, pop! Uh, I realize that I'm just standing there holding a megaphone that's drenched in yellow liquid. Uh, yeah. So sorry. Everything has a meaning. If that's true, then this must be really important. Don't scream at me again, please. Ew, it's got stuff coming out of its ears. I don't like it. It's a desk with a freshly severed aminal head on it. Mm, looks Doesn't look like anything's in the desk. I tried feeling her. Oh, there's something that could be paper. I got talisman! It's a scrap of paper. I open it. Okay, never mind. It's a note. It seems like someone failed to destroy this. Got fragment G. Okay. This is the third fragment. I spread them out and stare at them. Oh. I can read the sentences in each piece, but I don't know how they fit together. I switch them up and look at them again. Then... Huh? By the specific frequency of sound waves. Huh. End of fragment I and start of fragment G seem to connect to form a sentence. Might be able to read the fragments if I line them up. Okay, so hold on. I and G line up. Let me let me grab paper just in case. I don't know if I need it, but let me grab it. Okay, so I leads to G. Okay. Let's see if my poor dumb brain can catch up. I mean, I kind of figured they were going to line up somehow. Can I see the fragments all together? Okay. So, I just have S-I-G. Uh... Can I? I want to line them up would be nice. Um, let's see. Wave can control the blank, shock the blank. This creature is that great. This is to keep it locked. <clears throat> it's 
something sound wave or must I don't understand <coughs> <coughs> Great asuras below. Um, well, this one has a period at the end, so S is probably at the end. Um, also, regaining sight of something will agitate it. Maybe. Um, to something aware of something testing. Able to find survivor of this creature. Creature and something. Hmm. I don't know. There's not enough to go off of. <clears throat> Can I have more notes? Animal heads are mounted up high on the wall. Usually I can't distinguish animals' expressions, but all the heads looked like they died in pain. Oh, oh, Zoo Sensei, did you have to? I don't like that. I can't click on any more of the desks. I thought I could click on this one. Oh, ew. Liquid dripping from the mysterious organs hanging from the ceiling. I don't know those look like intestines to me. I, oh. She's ironic considering that her whole viewpoint was against animal, animal cruelty. Right? It's like, girl, get your priorities because you're obviously losing sight of them. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. The organs strewn about the floor look fresh. Oh boy, delicious. I can't click on anything else. I thought there was other stuff. What am I supposed to do? Um. Is it gonna say the same thing? Yeah, it's gonna say the same thing. Uh, no, I didn't wanna click on it again. Oh my God, please. It was not my intention. Okay, we're just gonna we're just gonna back out. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna take a step back. Um Let's see. So we did the tests in the other room. Let's go back and go into the classroom here. There was supposed to be a test over here, maybe? Do I dare continue the tests? Hold on, I'm gonna I'm gonna save real quick in case I end up getting my butt kicked by a test. Oh, the test is still here, bro! Time for round two of science. Peek at the questions. I take a glance at the problem sheet. I see numbers in mathematical. So <gasps> it's a math test. I love math. Oh my god, watch me die to the math test, though. The one that I actually like. Oh. Actually, yeah, look at my old notes. Should probably be... Hold on. Should be a priority. Let's see. Hatchet, hammer, red notebook. Strange smelling splotches. Okay, that's just... Let's see. Can control the sound wave. Like, we can control it with the sound wave, is what it said. I don't have anything pertaining to math over here. So, maybe it's just a math test? I don't know. I saved, so if I die, I can just come back here. If it's, if it's not math, but it's, like, calculus, I'm gonna... I mean, calculus is still math, but it's, like, high-end math, then I'm gonna cry. I didn't get that high. Okay, here we go. Prepare thyselves! I pick up the pencil and turn over the paper. Whoa, 
I don't like the sound. Oh God, here we go. Calculus is rich kid math, stop. An ostrich can run from the first floor of the school to the second floor in three seconds. That's not math. If the school has five floors, okay. How long would it take for it to get from the first to the fifth? Okay, so one floor per three seconds, right? So technically it would only have to go up four floors, so that's times four, so that's 12. 12 seconds, right? I think. Word problems were never my strong suit, but I think that's right. <laughs> I'm smart. Oh, I am lagging something fierce. Ugh. <laughs> my model's freaking out. Okay, ostriches are extremely fast. They can run 60 kilometers per hour. Oh, God. Let me just write that down just in case. Okay. How many seconds would it take them to reach a human? 30... I don't know kilometer. I don't I don't understand measurement. My brain doesn't work like that. How long would someone give me the answer? I don't know measurement units. Would it just be a second? <laughs> I don't wanna Uh Hey Google, how many kilometers in a meter? Okay, so like super fast. <laughs> yeah, right? Is this 999? The fuck's going on? I, I'm gonna just guess. I know it's gonna be real small. Yeah, two seconds. Beep. Real fast. <laughs> I guess right. <laughs> it go real fast. Are you gonna tell me an ostrich is gonna chase me down the hallway and kick my head off? An ostrich kick is very strong. Without an airbag, a human bait would die. I like that humans are bait. Right? Like, that's nice. Thanks. <laughs> Undead ostrich. No! Zombie ostrich! The world's most deadly zombie! <laughs> Caution. When observing an ostrich, strong. Bring an airbag. Okay, I need an airbag, guys. Don't let me forget to bring an airbag to my ostrich fight. <laughs> <coughs> Their specialty is kicking after taking a long running start. If an ostrich is halved, how strong would their kick be? Is is Zeus Sensei gonna be half ostrich? Is she going to be an amalgamation of the animal body parts that she has severed? <clears throat> I don't know. Ostriches are fast. Maybe that's the one that she could safely acquire. Because the cheetahs would eat her. How strong would their kick be? Oh, if it was halved, it would be half as strong. Right? Oh. Ah! Well, I died. I hear creepy breathing behind me. He's right behind me, isn't he? Oh my god, that face! What was that face? That was disgusting! Disgusting. Well, I'm gonna have nightmares about that face. Alright, well, decide again, I guess. Fuck. Uh, start the test. I just gotta survive that last question. Maybe? We'll try. I mean, what we got to lose? Okay, the first answer I said was 12, right? 12. 12 seconds. Hi, Ani! 
we're doing math. Oh. And I'm lagging from the test. Half of half, one leg, half strength. I mean, that makes sense. I'm going to give it a try. That makes perfect sense. Oh, look at me lag. <laughs> I can't even wiggle. Okay, kick is very strong. Human will not survive without airbag. Make sure you have airbag. <clears throat> oh, if their speed is halved, how strong would their kick be? Let's try fourth. Let's see what fourth is. Ho oh, ho! Be the smarty pants. Let's go. B is so smart. B is so smart. S M R T. S M R T. Can I move normally now? Sort of. There we go. Now I can move normal again. I guess I freeze up in those life or death situations, huh? <laughs> It seems like we passed the not really a math test. At the end of the answer sheets. You disobeyed teacher. You get a special test. Uh-oh. Advance to the animal classroom. Uh, okay. I guess I will. Hello? Did I do that? Animal classroom in my soup. That's not the room with drenched in animal blood, is it? P probably. Are we supposed to take a test in there? Ew, but like the paper's gonna stick to the test because of all the blood though. How am I supposed to read or write on any of that? I'm slightly worried about the special part. I hope it's not some weird test. But that's probably exactly what it'll be. What if I... What if I go to the piano room? Isn't there a piano room? Isn't there a piano room? Like here? No, that's not the piano room. There's a music room on here somewhere. I play the music and it goes sleepy sleep. No, it's still locked. Dang it. All right, fine. I'll go to the aminal room. <clears throat> okay, this is where we just were. And now we go in here. This is the aminal room, right? God, I hate it. Oh, I hate it. Oh, look, an empty desk just for me by the window. There's a pencil and a problem sheet on the desk. What's the questions? I take a glance at the problem sheet. It looks like some kind of foreign language. I can't make heads or tails of it. Oh boy. I have no idea what kind of test it is. Oh boy. Let me let me stop real quick. I'm gonna save. Let me just save. In case I die. <clears throat> you guys ready? You ready for, for a special quiz? You ready for a pop quiz? Here we go. Beep. I pick up the pencil and turn over the papier. But. Wait. Fre Frey? Wait. The entire test is written in a foreign language. Yeah, well, yeah, we just peeked at it. I don't understand what any of it means. Before I even ask her, I shakes her head violently. She's like, no, 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 no. I can't even read in my English class. <laughs> no, no, no. I don't know any Spanish. Are, are we sure it's Spanish, though? I don't really think it's Spanish. Though, I guess that confirms there's no way to take it. If we want to be able to take the test, we'll need someone who understands foreign languages. Oh, we probably need... Okay. I guess we're gonna leave the school real quick. Hold on, I gotta go get the, probably the science lady. 
Maybe the science lady? I think she would be the one. Do you, do you guys think it would be the science lady or the... Because uh, the science lady is smart, right? So it would be her, right? Or do you think it'd be... Yeah, or do you think it would be Obachan because she's like... Since she's old, she's long-lived, she might have gone to other countries and stuff. I, I kind of want to take Obachan with us first because I haven't gotten to hang out with Obachan at all. She seems like a learned, classy lady. Oops, wait. I wanted to go this way. That's true. She might just be a science lady and not a linguist. That makes perfect sense. I love her voice. Alright, Obachan. Let's go. Hey, Obachan, can you read Spanish? <laughs> Obachan's like, it's not fucking Spanish, you dumb fuck. Okay, I have to go up, 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 up. There we go. Okay. And then, uh, and then up. <laughs> Is it Italian? I would laugh if it was like, just something basic. I would laugh if it was actually English. Because, you know, it takes place in, in the Nihon. Is it this? Is this the Amino room? Nope, wrong one. One more. It could be one that has, like, a, uh, not like a Romanized, uh, alphabet. Um, even. I don't know. I know small bits because Assassin's Creed, but that's it. I mean, that's fair. I don't think they're going to show us the actual test, though. Otherwise, we could try and figure out what language it is. Okay. Entire test is written in a foreign language. What does it mean? Just then... Aha! Grandma knew! Just then, Grandma mumbles next to me. Frag one. Question one, then. Freig? This test is written in German! Can you read it? I learned it at girls' school. Yeah! Good job, Granny. Oh, dear. I feel I've revealed how old I am. Begin, begin the test! Oh no! It's starting! In any case, I'll try to read it to you. So, answer the question. Uh, so you can answer Whatever. Thank you! She gonna translate. Live or die. Here comes the lag. Yeah, the ghost noises are the worst. Uh, multiple choice. Social studies. Oh, it's a social studies test. Oh, bro. I had all the worst hit social studies teachers. <laughs> question one, history. Please answer the following question. In the Pacific War, when Japan was bombed, a bomb shelter was built in H City. Oh, in the Swiss Cheese Alley. During what period did the war take place? Uh, everybody's gonna figure out how dumb I am. I don't know what what period that was in in their. Period two. <laughs> oh god, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. When was the war? Okay. <laughs> I was focused on the words and they had the dates right there. I was like, oh no. <laughs> Dumbass T, look at the look at the dates on the side, you dumb fuck. Even then I cannot tell you the exact time frame of historical stuff. I I I disassociated hard in social studies class. <sighs> Mostly because it it sucked. I was I was a child who was uninterested in history, but I do feel like I do feel like uh I want to watch history documentaries recently, but 
I, I'm 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 pretty I'm pretty dumb. I'm pretty dumb. Listen, you guys, don't ask me about smart stuff. I'm dumb. At the start of the war against the USA, the Imperial Japanese Navy attacked Hawaii. The American naval fleet was badly damaged. Uh, what did FDR say about the attack? I think that's what it says. Uh, it's asking what FDR said in a speech about Pearl Harbor. Oh, God. Uh, what did he say? Oh, God. Uh, I think this? Okay. Good thing my brother was interested in, like, he, he's always been interested in, like, airplanes and shit, so he had a period where he was obsessed with Pearl Harbor for a bit. I don't know. Fucking. I don't know. This looks like the last one. Okay. Ugh. I hate, <laughs> I hate history class more than I hate science. Actually, no, I take that back. I hated science more than I hated history. Okay. Well, hopefully we can find some that are interesting, cause I I got I gotta be interested in the subject, otherwise I'm I'm not paying attention. But I've been I've been craving trying to put some knowledge back in my dumb noodle, see if I can get some wrinkles in my brain. Uh, the Pacific War ended in 1945. During that time, 1945, that is, which country was allied with Japan? Oh my God! During that specific time of the war, uh. I don't know! I don't know! I don't know! I don't know! What was this war? What was Pearl Harbor? When was that? That was... It was probably Germany, wasn't it? Was it Germany? I should have clicked Germany. Marukai Tijuku! Marukai Tijuku! Marukai I, I I hesitated because I was like I, uh, Germany but Italy and then Germany and Italy <laughs> it was a 50-50 shot and I fucked up uh, start Marukai <laughs> Tijuku Listen, listen, I was smart in school, kind of, and then when I didn't need school anymore, I was purged. Even then, I, I don't know how I passed any of my history classes. Oh, excuse me. Bing bong, ding dong. A dead body has been discovered. It's yours. Okay. Question one. See if I remember any of these. Okay. This is. Oh, I should have guessed Germany because the test is written in fucking German. I'm a freaking idiot. I, 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 I did not, I did not even. Yeah, see, yeah, I remember, I remember the access being Japan, Italy, and Germany. I remember that, and then I guess I was wrong about, I don't know, maybe Italy dropped out by that specific point in time. I don't know. <laughs> but I'm dumb. I should have thought that it was... Yeah, okay, B, I do see in the chat where you said because the test was in German, I did not even look. <laughs> I should have picked Germany. Listen, we all know I'm dumb. This is just reaffirming the fact. At least I end up with more spirit points by the end of it. I have more spirit points now because I'm not going da, da, da over the test because that, that is exactly the sound that I made. Okay. 
Germany. Bonk. Leute. Yay. We did it. We did it the first time through. We did it the first time so easy because we're such smarty pants, you guys. We're so smart. We got, we aced that test on our first try. <laughs> Meanwhile, Zoo Sensei's like, the fuck are you doing passing all my tests? <laughs> <coughs> we managed to get through it somehow. Ah, thank you for the head puppies. I did a good job. Yay! <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> At the end of the answer sheet. What's it say? There's a test in the last empty room. Go take it immediately. I, 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 <sighs> bitch. Fine. I took your supplementary test lesson thing. I'm going fine. Oh, thank goodness. We did it. I aged 10 years in five minutes. Oh, darling, you don't look like you aged a single year in 10 minutes. Don't worry. I, I just want to say thanks. No way would I have finished that by myself. Like, I mean, I know Dutch is similar to German, but I can't read Dutch either, so. Are we? Yeah, what about recess? I want my lunch break. Excuse me, this sensei. I want to go play Foursquare and kickball and, and tetherball. Um... <laughs> Zeus Sensei, can I be excused to go to the bathroom? <laughs> and you just hang out in the hallway for like 20 minutes. Like, is the test over? I don't want to go back. <laughs> oh, that was nothing. So there's another test then. Yeah, uh, Aihime and I did three other ones. But yeah, uh, in the empty classroom, I guess. I don't know which one's the empty one. They're all pretty empty. Jumping in or flipping off the swings, spinning around the monkey bar poles, like fucking loop the loops until you fall off because you're so dizzy. I remember we used to play a game called Haunted House where we'd take the big kid swings because there were, were like so many in a row and we'd swing them in opposite directions as hard as we could and then you had to run through them and try not to get hit. <laughs> we called it Haunted House for some reason, but... <laughs> we used to get in trouble for playing that game during, uh, <laughs> during school. <laughs> that was a long time ago. That was when that was when I was just a little baby. Yeah, the ghosts hit hard, bro. Those those swings really left bruises. They were made out of harder stuff than on the little kid playground. Wonder how long this will go on. I mean, this is an elementary school, so the topic is fitting. Anyways, I suppose it doesn't matter. Let us go. You must die. Okay, bye guys. Have fun. Uh, back. Right? Okay, I went to this one already. We go forward one more, I think. And now in here? Is this the one? It said I needed an airbag, and now I'm paranoid that I'm not gonna have an airbag. Oh, window? I look at the schoolyard through the window, dreaming about recess and wishing I could go play like all the other kids. I don't see anything moving around, though. They're all laying on the ground. Did something happen to the children? <laughs> the blackboard is covered in dents and scratches. Probably too damaged. Ugh. Ugh. The thought of using a chalkboard in that condition just set my teeth on edge. There's a pencil and problem sheet on the desk. -oo. Peek. Take a glance at the problem sheet. See what it looks like music staffs. So I guess it's a music test. <gasps> Nope, I need to go get Aihime. She can read music. I mean, technically, I, Dokizu T, can, but um, our boy Kocha-san cannot. So we need to go get Aihime. Being stuck inside after lunch because you didn't finish your meal. Oh, I've never... 
I, my school didn't do that, or at least I don't think they did, but that sucks. I hate when people force kids to eat. Like, it's such an unhealthy thing. Like, I mean, I know that kids need to eat, and if they're not eating properly, we need to make sure that they're getting nutritional value, but forcing them to finish a meal that they can't finish is just... It's just, it's just sucky. Okay, uh... Partner. Aihime, let's go! Okay. Oh, uh, private elementary schools. That makes sense. I went to a public garbage school. For public garbage gremlins. Alright, Aihime. Let's fucking go! Take a music test. I probably wouldn't be able to take like, a music test as well as I could back in the day, but it's been a while since I've read music. Uh. Bah. And then again, I am very, very old. I'm hundreds of years old, so. It's been a while. It's been a couple hundred years since I've read music. Twinkle, twinkle, little bat, how I wonder where I'm at. Nailed it. Okay, start. I picked up the pencil and turned over the paper. <laughs> rah, 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 time to do the test. <laughs> You're not scary, Zu Sensei. She totally is, but don't tell her. Multiple choice music questions. Let's. Let's. Let's grate Asura the following questions. Huh? I thought this was gonna be music. Animals can be controlled with frequencies. Experiment was a success. Question one is about snakes. Uh oh. What sound are snakes scared of? Please grate Asura from the following. Okay, please choose. Uh, what sound are snakes scared of? I don't know. This one? Okay, no, it wasn't that one. It wasn't that one. I got it wrong. Maybe it's the giant fish song, because snakes look like big fish, like snakes look like wormies, and a giant fish would eat them. Maybe? Do you think that would be it? I'm not scared of you anymore. I just really hate your sloppy teeth. And also, why do you keep calling me a row? I am not sn sneezing. Hi, Yuzu. I'm on the music test. What are snakes scared of? <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. I should save first just in case. Uh, let me... <laughs> Would be great if I saved. Okay. Actually, can I find anything in the... Twinkle, twinkle, little bat, how I wonder where I'm at. I don't... Let's see. Sound wave or music put to sleep. Also... Able to find something survivor of this creature and I don't know. Th these are really just difficult. <laughs> you forgot. That's fair. It's been a while. Oh well, we'll just keep guessing until we get something right. Snakes are most... Oh, so maybe they're not scared of... I didn't know the snakes were deaf. I mean, I guess that makes sense. Okay, thank you for the information, music lover. Yeah, they're probably not afraid. Let's try not afraid then, because that sounds good. If snakes can't hear or if they're mostly deaf, then that would make perfect sense that they might not be scared of sounds. They probably hear the vibrations more off. Yeah, exactly. I was going to say. Bing bong, ding dong. Music lover is so smart. Oh, I'm laggy again. <laughs> Don't worry. We won't have to put up with this for very long. Oh, question two is about pigs. 
What sound are pigs scared of? Okay. The Texan who had to deal with them. Oh! You're so smart, music lover. Uh... This one. Ha 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 ha! Score! The last one's gonna be the starry song. And that's gonna tell us what we need to play Twinkle Twinkle Little Star for. Seals. Oh, never mind. Dangerous tools are sealed. Huh? Which one is not sealed? Huh? Wait, dangerous tools are sealed? I don't know why giant fish. I just picked it at random. I picked it because it's the song that we don't have. Is it... Megaphone? Oh, no. But I have the megaphone on me. Okay. Maybe it's the piano. Because we heard the piano earlier. I'll try piano. Keep those icky teeth away from me. They're not good like my teeth. I... You can't really see my teeth all that well. My teeth sees are better. Piano has a case and cover. Hmm. Well, a harmonica has like a little cover around it for like for holding and for like the flow of air and stuff if we're going that way. But like the piano like cover in case you can open them. So maybe it's talking about that cuz we heard it playing earlier and like even if the lid is closed, um if the cover is open, you can still hear the music. So m m maybe it's the piano. I don't know. I'm gonna try piano. Harmonica seems kind of weird. <coughs> we are armed with answers! <laughs> Snakes are not scared. Snakes are prepared to be cute little noodles! Boop the snoot! Boop, 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 the snoot. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Here we go. Question about piggies. Fish. What is the giant fish song, though? Like, what is that one? Ugh, the lag is so bad on my model. Oh, no. Don't worry. I'll be getting a better compooper soon. Hopefully, maybe. Okay, dangerous tools are sealed. Which one is not sealed? Okay, I can't quick save, so let's try piano. Nope. Okay, I guess it's harmonica then. I haven't found a harmonica. Where's the harmonica? You can't tell me that's not sealed. Where the fuck's a harmonica? Do I have it in my bag? Boobies. And it, I don't understand the fish. Is it, is it a fish head with the boobies or like? I don't. I don't. What what the fuck is Zeus Sensei? Maybe because the door is closed. And okay, well I guess the megaphone wasn't a locked room. I don't have a harmonica. I don't know. It looked like a pumpkin head. It looked like a like a silly little fish head. Fish heads, fish heads, eat them up, yum. <laughs> Only the teeths. Icky, icky teeths. What do I even need to beat Zoo Sensei? Like, I don't I don't understand anything about what's going on here. I don't want Aihime to die. So I guess I better get it right if it doesn't let me swap anyone out. Not even in school, therefore unsealed. Oh, I mean maybe. I feel like I'm gonna have to go find a harmonica now. 
Maybe I need to go downstairs and find where that body was. Yeah, the scientist lady is marked from her. Um, so is well, all three of them have a mark from from her. I think I'm pretty sure. Yeah, because they were all in like the oh hold on, I gotta pay attention. Life or death and stuff. Um. So. Obachan and Aihime were in the Swiss cheese alley, and the science lady was in the aminal room. Harmonica. We've learned through process of stupidification. Thank you. Thank you. I'm here all night, unfortunately. <laughs> Quite literally, because this doesn't finish until dawn. <laughs> Oh no, I passed. <laughs> Trial by time loop. Bing bong, ding dong. Recess time. Passed. Did she just say we passed? What if, what if to beat Zeus Sensei, we just give her all four of our answer sheets and she's like, oh, you're a good little student. Never mind. And then just poofs into the greater beyond. <laughs> you get a gold star. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I heard. What what did we pass? Uh, several tests? Did we pass her class? Yeah, we finished every test and passed. I have a bad feeling about this. Oh no, should I have not taken... I thought I needed her because the music thing... Let's hurry with our investigation. I have a feeling about... So I feel... I have a feeling something is about to hadplen... New info was added to the spirit file. Passing the test. Uh, I think I need to go down below. Oh god, I hate how quiet it is. Let me just. I hate that it's so dark in the hallway. It's it's icky, icky, spooky, wooky. I don't like it. Okay. I think, I think I need to go downstairs, because it had, like, a little arrow note, po like, saying a great Asura pointing down. So maybe there's something down there that I can see now that I saw the note? There's also that mannequin. Oh, that mannequin. The fucking body mannequin thing. That disturbing-ass ma ma mannequin. Is it, is it in here? Was it here? Was this, was this where it was? The way the school is laid out, we should be right under the science storage room. That reminds me. There was a strange tag attached to the formula and container. I'm pretty sure it said, Great Asura, down. Yeah, exactly, okay. Maybe this is a different room. Is this a different room? I thought the mannequin was, wasn't the mannequin in this room? Or was it a different room? You guys? Or is that was that upstairs? I think it was upstairs. Never mind. I think it's upstairs. I think I'm just being dumb. Does that mean the great Asura is below? Then that tag would be referring to this room. I take a thorough look through the room. There aren't any other suspicious spots here besides the trap door to the underground room. What is it? I don't see anything around here. You might be right. I don't know. We might have to go in the trap door. Something might have changed since we were last here. School journal. Okay, well. Okay, hold on. For the sake of my sanity and my soul, we're not taking that test again, so I'm just gonna save. Let's go. There's an entrance to the underground room. Go! Hanahiko, coming in! Anything new in here? Hello, friends! I accidentally searched the corpse. I don't find anything. 
Okay, this is all the same as before. I think this is all the same. Do I need to use the... Do I need to use something down here? What, why is there a mirror here? I want to look at that. I want to look at that behind the wall. What's that? Okay, nothing here. I remember this bed. I found my boyfriend under this bed. The door creaking sounded like a saxophone and I thought for a split second there was gonna be jazz music. <laughs> That's so funny. Okay, this is all the same. Uh Okay. Um Yeah, there's just a PS I have made creamy sausage pasta. Oh, that sounds so good. I made um what did I make? I made a... Uh... <sighs> What's the freaking word? I, I cooked up some of the leftover meat from Thanksgiving so that way we could eat it before it goes. Um, and then I cooked it up with some bell peppers. And oh, that was glowing. Um, I cooked it up with some bell peppers and some corn and rice. Pretty basic. Feel the wall. I tap on the wall. I don't know why, but I've seen people do it on shows and stuff. I think that's how you check walls. Excuse me, are you a wall? Tap, tap. Yep, that's a wall, all right. Good job, me. Thanks, me. Huh? What's wrong? Uh, it's not super obvious, but... The center point of the wall seems paler than the rest. If only I had enough skills to be able to tell if it was hollow or not by the sound. The thickness just kind of feels different to me. Oh, I see. What should I do? Uh, hammer! I'll smash it with a hammer! I put the flashlight down and grip with both my hands. Go! Huh? Don't tell me. Okay, I won't. This could, this could call attention to me. But this is where Hanahiko was. I don't think another spirit would come here. So I'll try just once. I'll take it down with one swing. I gather my courage and swing the hammer against the wall with all my might. Oh, wow. I really did do it. A large hole, larger than I expected, opens up. Well, probably because it's previously damaged. I anxiously wait to see if I drew a spirit close. Luckily, it doesn't seem like anything's coming. I'm gonna fucking scream if we go to leave this room and that fucking mannequin from upstairs is right outside. <laughs> fucking smash it with the hammer! That went a lot better than I thought it would. Y you're brave. Also, please tell me if my microphone is too loud so I can turn down the gain. Because I don't know how it sounds until I listen back. It's the hole. Look in the hole. I see... I see wriggling in the darkness. I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't like the wriggling in the darkness. I don't want it. I don't like it. I think it should stop. Ew. Nobody likes me. Everybody hates me. I'm gonna eat some worms. Long, slimy, skinny ones, short, fat, juicy ones, itsy bitsy, tiny, whiny worms. Snakes! It's not worms, it's snakes! It's snakes! I'm sorry! Something cold coils around my fingers! It's, uh, it seems that I've stirred up whatever's nesting in there. If I don't deal with it first, I won't be able to check out the hole. Uh, 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 notebook. No, because it, it has the smell! 
Because it has the smell, okay? Uh, what's the other bottle? There's a bottle that had a... This one. I take out the foil wrapped bottle and pour its liquid inside the hole. <laughs> take that! Splish splash! Have a bath! Good as far as sound levels go. Okay, cool. I was, I was doing some editing the other day in one of my videos. I got really loud and clippy and I didn't like it. I had to turn the audio way down for the YouTube upload. So that's why I want to keep checking. It's not particularly effective. Oh, did I just waste that item? Okay, no, it's it's still there. Okay, uh... What do I... It's snakes, so wouldn't I just bang on the wall? Too much salt. Oh, I'm sorry, B. I don't know. What do I do about the snakes? The sna snakes aren't scared of sound. What if I put some trash in there? Just, just put some trash in there. <laughs> just bury the snakes in trash. I don't know. What do I do? I guess I, I'm missing something. Oh, what about the megaphone? No. None of it does anything. I'm going to have to look around for more stuff, I guess. Oh, hatchet. But I don't want to murder the snakes. I guess I should try. Okay. No, I can't do anything with the hatchet. Okay. Um, well, I guess I'm gonna have to look around some more. So there's nothing I can do about the, the snakes in the wall. I split the snoots. No, not the snoots. The cute little noodles, though. Okay. Uh, let's go see if I can re, uh, search the other rooms, I guess. Maybe I missed something. Oh, God. My pen, my pen was rolling. All I saw was the corner of it out of my eye. I thought there was a spider on my desk. Spooking myself. Hey, Hanahiko, do you want to come back for like a quick second and help me with Miss... with Zu-sensei? Climb the stairs. Bum, ba, dum, ba, dum, bum. They'll be there somewhere enough to worms. They'll be okay. Oh my god. Okay. Um... Desk is scorched. Okay, this is, yeah, this is where the fire started. Maybe I need to go get the, uh, the science lady. Maybe she knows what I can do. Look in the cupboard and check inside, but all I find is trash and dust. Okay. These are the body parts. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Um, I already have what I wanted from here. Okay. The Hydra have snake-like heads and they keep coming back, so... <laughs> well, you can justify it all you want to me. The game said no, I can't do anything about that. I hate this thing so much. Mouth might be broken because someone stuck their hand down it. Would that mean something is hidden either in the mouth or the torso? Don't stick your hand in there. Use the fucking hammer. I could break it, but then I might break whatever's inside too. Nothing for it but to stick my hand. Oh, video game logic. I hesitantly slide my hand into the mouth. Oh, it's going to bite you. Something cylindrical is inside. Is it the harmonica? I try I grab it and pull it out. It's a snake! Oh, that's a lot of snakes. It's a snake head. Roused by the movement, snakes begin pouring out from every crevasse. W watch out! I stumble backwards. The snakes start moving as if muscles to the body. The mannequin, it moves! The snakes slowly retreat back into the model. Seems like they live inside it. It's a lot of snoot noodles, yeah. I bet something's hidden in there, but to get it, I'll have to find a way to pacify the snakes. Huh. 
Do I use it here? Nope. Maybe. The snakes by the stairs might have moved because of the red notebook. Oh, well, I couldn't use it on the, the wall snakes, but I can use it on the mannequin snakes. In that case, the snakes here might also... You just kind of wave it in front of the mannequin's mouth like, Here, snakey, 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 snakey. <laughs> I hold the red notebook up to the model. The snakes shift around slightly. But that's all that happens. Looks like that won't work. Aww, it didn't work. It doesn't look like the red notebook is effective. What if I just break the model, though? I don't know. <laughs> Here, snoot, snoot, snoot. I didn't think that was going to work. Um... I don't know. Yuzu, I need your brain. <laughs> I, I used this one already, didn't I? No, okay, I didn't use that one yet. Um, yeah, stuff the answer sheet inside. Educate them! Take an answer sheet! Wait! Are you fucking shitting me? The answer sheet? Is that gonna work? I take out all the answer sheets I have and hold them close to the model. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> the snakes just want to learn. Educate your snakes, people. Snake's head poke out from the model and suddenly slither to the floor. Eek! Uh, are they dangerous? I can't fucking believe this shit. I quickly wad up the answer sheets and throw them through the window to the next room. The snakes chase after them. What the fuck? Are you kidding me? What the fuck? <laughs> Snakes are like, math, science, social studies, I want to consume. <laughs> <coughs> Soon there are no snakes left in the model. What a surprise. They love German guys. <laughs> the snakes are like, we can read German. Why can't you? I stick my hand in the model and feel around. I find a paper box and a key. Got matches and music. <gasps> the music room. We can put the thing to sleep. I feel like going in the music room is going to be the final thing, though. We probably don't want to go in there just yet. Oh, no. I lost all my answer sheets. Now how will Zeus and say know that I'm a good little bean? Ugh. Oh. The mark burns scarlet. Half an hour until death closes in. Oh no, I'm gonna have to use the music. I have to have Aihime with me. Yuzu, quick, tell me how I make sure Aihime doesn't die. H has that much time passed already? I? I anxiously call out to them. Uh, oh, right, it's almost time to perform. It's okay, I'm on standby. Okay, <laughs> thank you. Oh, it's starting. Oh no, but what if I don't have everything? Yeah, we need to hurry and find clues. Oh, lies of P. How is that? I had the demo, but like it said survival and I'm like, man, survival's so stressful. I don't know if I can handle it. Okay, I gotta figure out how to get, I gotta figure out how, how to get the stuff out of the wall downstairs with the great Asura. I'm not going near the music. <gasps> oh, no, hold on. I think the fire and the mm, trashes and matches. I, I mean, I don't want to set the school on fire a second time. Plus, I don't think I can use combo items unless it's during the battle. 
but I have a chemical that says to keep away from fire, and I feel like that's going to turn out bad if I use that. That's going to be like a destroy the spirit route, maybe? And that's the vibe I get, anyway. I gotta find a... I gotta get in that hole. How many uses does the matches have? Uh... Ooh, matches are infinite. Okay. Okay, tool. Matches. I take out the matches, light it, and throw it into the hole! Fire in the hole! The wriggling shadows in the hole move more quickly for a moment, but the fire doesn't last long and their movement slows again. Okay, well. I poured the thing on it. I take out the clear bottle and pour the... Okay, I do use the... Beer. I do do the combo. Stick your head in the hole. <laughs> Take a deep whiff. Okay, well, time to light some snakes on fire, I guess. Because B is the smartest smarty pants in the group tonight. Let's burn some... We're, we're cooking some noodles tonight, guys. Oh, blue flame. Oh, blue flame. Oh, blue flame. Blue flame. Uh... That seems bad. The snakes writhe around, then vacate the hole in mass. Uh-oh. 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 Okay, they disappear into the cracks in the walls. Whoo! I thought it was going to turn into a live or die situation because we are being swarmed by snakes. Is the fire gone? After the wave of snakes vanishes, I find something on the floor. It must have been carried out of the nest when the snakes fled. For the good ending, you just need the beloved amulet and the science match. Oh. Uh, I will have to check. I don't think I have either of those. Aizen Asura's talisman. But... It looks like the snakes brought the talisman on purpose when they fled the hole. Like they were scared of, the, of it burning in the fire. Were they trying to protect it from the flames? It must be something really important then. Okay, there's nothing else in here. Let's see. Bag. Let's see. Beloved amulet... Oh, the beloved amulet was the, the thing, and then I need a science match? Is it, like, the, when you say science match, is it the box of matches, or is there something called science match? Let's see, tag, red notebook, music room key. Oh, I think I need an airbag. Because it mentioned that in the test. I feel like I need something like that. Okay, just the matches. <laughs> matches automatically equals science! Bill Nye the science guy. <laughs> By the power of Bill Nye, we will defeat this evil scientist ghost. Okay, let me go search the rest of the rooms before we get to the music room and see if I can find anything else such as an airbag for the ostrich that I might encounter. Yeah, exactly! Exactly, Calcutta! Hi, Calcutta! <laughs> Bill! 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 <laughs> Gotta take notes or else it's just messing around. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's find an ostrich airbag, y'all. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know where we're gonna find an airbag in the school, but let's figure it out. Uh, hello? Is there an airbag out the window? I can't hear any man-made sounds coming out the window. Boy, you know that's a bad time. Can't hear the mans, you can't hear the aminals. Oh yeah, I think this is like... I think that's I. As they said in the last one. You would think that I remember what the kanji for love is when I was such a big fan of Gata back in my Naruto days. 
Flecks of red are all over the floor. They smell like blood. Or whatever it said. I, I just assume it's blood. Find someone with a squishy enough inflated head. <laughs> Don't talk about Aihime like that. She's our precious angel. We have to protect her. We just can't let the ostrich kick her. That's all. Let the ostrich kick me instead. Oh, we're back here. No, there's still nothing else that I can click. Yeah, my my head is the airbag because my head is full of air. <laughs> I'm dumber than Ihime. What if the ostrich thing doesn't come into play unless we're... Uh... Oh, nothing about needing an airbag? Then why did it tell me about an airbag? Maybe I just need to make sure that the ostrich doesn't run up to us. Poor depressed gourd boy. He was a poor depressed gourd boy. That's for sure. He was our sad gourd boy. I feel like I need to peek back into that series and see how my opinion of all the characters have changed now that I'm older. I remember initially I used to hate Sakura and then... Um, and then I got over that and she became one of my favorite characters. Um, but I really stopped paying attention after she put in. Okay, I think that's the music room. Is this gonna be the stairwell? Okay, yeah. Okay, well, according to Yuzu double checking my non-existent math, I haven't even tried Boruto. Like, I got, I got all the way through just the regular Naruto saga, and then when Naruto Shippuden hit, I bought, I think, like, one volume of the manga, and then that was it. And I don't even think I read it. Um, I ended up giving all of my Naruto manga to a friend who was still into it, because I just, I didn't have the vibe for it anymore. Sakura really did grow a lot, and I'm proud of her for how much she grew. <laughs> <laughs> Daisuke is a different series. <laughs> Daisuke is my boy. Daisuke is my brosif. Daisuke is my, my sweet baby child. I will protect him to the ends of the earth. Don't touch my brother. <laughs> yeah, not the sweet baby thief Daisuke. He is the sweetest little bean. God, I want to reread that entire series. We're talking about DN Angel if, if no one is caught on or has read it. DN Angel is so good. The manga. The original anime is kind of cringe, but the manga is really good. I still sometimes go back and reread that roleplay. It was really good. <laughs> we made some good characters. Uh, where's the music room key? There we go. Okay, I can't. Okay, uh, I, flashlight? There we go. Okay, that's how I do it. I use the music key room and open the door. All right, I he may play happy birthday to you. You live in a zoo. You look like a monkey and you smell like one too. I haven't for a while been thinking about <laughs> That's fair. I've also been, I mean, I haven't recently myself either, but I've been working on a lot of stuff. Oh, I think you should have everything from what I saw in your bag. Okay, okay, good to know. Hopefully I can make it work. I just, I guess we'll figure out how, how I keep her at bay. Is it is it another thing where she walks up close or do I just need to just be like, hey, I found your thing and then burn it like right away? <laughs> or do I have to wait till she's close? Uh, the places used to be full of desks, but now only holds a single p piano. Let's see. Maybe. It's old piano. Uh, tool. Twinkle, twinkle, little bat. Right? No, I. What do you do with it? What? It's a music sheet, and there's a piano. What do you think you do with it, Dad? You're so dumb. Keys are still intact. Probably out of tune, but it's definitely playable. Play the piano. I checked the music stand. There's a piece of sheet music on it. <gasps> I found the fish song! Okay, fish song is for pig. 
Uh, snakes aren't scared of sound, but... What do we use the... What do we use the star song on? The... I don't know. The teacher? I found the fish song. I Was that it? I can't click the piano no more. Do I need to get a harmonica? Oh, I didn't mean to click on it again. Stop. Do, do I need a harmonica, Yuzu? It mentioned a harmonica not being sealed, but I don't have one of those. I didn't find one. Let me see. So I've got... Let's see. Oh, I do need a harmonica. Where is the harmonica? Oh, no, no harmonica. Okay. Um, yeah, I've got the charm bottle. I got a song. Foil wrapped bottle, hammer, hatchet, megaphone, matches, office trash. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Okay, fragment. Let's see here. I... I wish this could have filled out more as I found more pieces of it where I could combine them so I could try and frickin' read. Let's see. Add something. Let's see. You need trash, hatchet, matches, carp song, beloved amulet, and transparent bottle. Okay, I do still have the clear bottle. <clears throat> Okay, I have the office trash. I have the hatchet, matches, carp song, amulet, and the bottle. Okay. I don't know how I'm supposed to deduce those items from these fragmented notes because, like, I just, there's, there's no way for me to tell what the fuck it says. It, like, it gave me some of the words earlier, I think, on I... But then, like, it didn't fill it out on here, so fuck if I remember. Not in that order, but those items. Oh, okay, thanks. <laughs> See if I can figure it out with my tiny brain. All right. Well, let's figure out where I'm supposed to go, I guess. Okay, just outside, I guess. <coughs> we step into the hall and the loudspeaker crackles. Do you have brains? No, I don't actually. I don't have any brains. I am a dumb child. I am dumb. Um, I'll use those wonderful brains now. <laughs> Aw, thank you, music lover. <laughs> and then I learn your <laughs> Someone should Astarian should talk to Zeus Sensei because he'll tell her that that I'm I'm a fucking dumbass and then maybe she'll leave my brain noodle alone because my noodles are not cooked enough. As ingredients and dissect you. You could just say you're a zombie and get it over with. Man, intellect devourers are smarter than this girl. Sensei, I think we have a problem. Did she just say she'll dissect us for ingredients? Um, can I be a baked potato, please? I would prefer to be a baked potato. Um, just put my head in the oven. <laughs> oh, <that's a> <laughs> okay, okay, hold on. <laughs> I'll, I'll hydrate before we fight the ghost. Here we go. Ah. <laughs> what, my hydrate redeem? <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh, posture check. Ah, oh, fine. Both feetsies on the ground. I can't sit like my gay self in the chair. All right. She'll use our wonderful brains as ingredients and dissect us. Oh, ah, oh, blanky. Thank you for the blanky redeem. Oh, and stretchy. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, let me just. Ooh, ooh, ah. Stretching is a little hard with the blanky on. Hold on. Oh. Oh. Stretching. Oh, that's 
right. That's a good idea. We got we gotta be limber for battle. That's a good point, B. Thank you very much. I gotta be I gotta be in the proper stance. I gotta be I gotta be limber. I gotta be mobile. We gotta throw some punches at a ghost. Oh, that's why she had the that's why she had us take the test she wanted to see if we were smarty pants enough for her to go chompy chomp on our noodles. She wanted to see if we were worthy enough to become ingredients. And that doesn't make any sense because when you fail the test anyways, she kills you and says that you're going to be a rule. That's still using us for ingredients. Setting up the test to select her pre. She wondered if we were smarter than a fifth grader. <laughs> Are you smarter than a fifth grader? I hated that show. <laughs> Not for any particular reason, but I just, I never watched it. That was what Miss Zoo was trying to do. Zoo Sensei wanted to check if we were smart. And just like always, I got a passing grade for memorizing answers and learning nothing. Because that's how the school system works. The heads lined up with the blood-stained room. The image of my own head joining them comes to mind more easily than I'd like. I, I can't see that. That show made me feel dumb. Like, what kind of fifth grader learns this? Yeah, right? It's like... <laughs> it makes you feel old, too. Because it's like, how much has the curriculum changed since I was a fifth grader? <laughs> Like, good for you for being smart, child. I'm just gonna be over here in my dumb corner. <laughs> New info is added to the spirit file. Footsteps closing in. Sorry, the road's crowded. I get a hold of yourself, you slapper. Wake up! I shake Aihime. She seems to be dreaming. Oh. Oh, no. Oh no, is she gonna be useless? Oh no, Aihime. Aihime, I need you to pay attention, darling. Oh, it's a few minutes until death closes in. I can't switch up characters anymore. Ostrich? Something's rushing up the western staircase with amazing speed. It's an ostrich! Shit. I doubt we'll be able to escape. In that case, our only option is to... We'll ambush her. We'll hide so we can get the advantage. I grab Ai's hand and run down the hall. Frightened by Miss Zoo's intense passion. Okay, it went away. Yeah, quick, grab an airbag! <laughs> which classroom should we hide in? Oh, God. Yuzu! Yuzu, which classroom? Please, I have to protect Aihime for the sake of our idol baby. What classroom do I pick? I don't want it to turn into another Christy. Christine, Christine, where in the world have you been hiding? I want to go watch Phantom of the Opera. Oh, the music room. That's right, because the piano. So we need her to play the songs. I I should have thought of that if I actually, like, stopped and thought and didn't panic. It would have... I hate this. Ew! Is that a... Pig face? Why do you have shark teeth? Oh god! I hate it! I hate it! I hate it! It's a fucking nightmare! Thank you for the head pappies. That was terrifying though. She's gonna pop back up like. Bah! Oh. Oh, yeah, there she is. She has ostrich feet! And snake arms? Excuse me, ma'am, where does that snake arm go? Where, where is that snake arm going? I think you should be more appropriate. You're in a school. Miss Zoo smiles and leaps forward the second she sees us come into the... <laughs> right? Right? Like, uh, let's leave, leave. Let's just go. The only problem is she has ostrich legs, meaning she can catch up to us in two seconds. Ostrich is expensive. <laughs> um, 
I thought she was a frog. I mean, listen, I if, if we hadn't taken the test that taught us about the whole frog situation, I would have thought she was one too. Oh, music lover, my wingies. Yay. <laughs> I love seeing my wingies. Yay. Yeah, less than two seconds. That's correct, B. Yeah, I stand corrected. Thank you. <laughs> okay, Ms. Zoo smiles and leaps forward. That's a smile? I mean, she's probably having a hard time with her new face. It's fine. Oh, I get it. Pig, ostrich, and snake. She's coming closer on her ostrich legs. It looks like she could jump at us at any moment. Uh... Uh, it said ostrich legs, so... The trash, maybe? I don't know, what do you guys think? Let's see, she's... Let's see. Twinkle Twinkle Little Star was something else, right? Or was that for the ostrich? I don't know. What kills me is she still has her hair. Yeah, <laughs> it's kind of funny. Um, yeah, pig was the fish song. It didn't mention the pig yet, so I think we have to wait for the fish song. Maybe we try... Maybe we try Twinkle Twinkle Little Star? But I, I he may has to play it, because she's the one who's good with music. So let's try Office Trash. So like, as like a placement, like a, a fake airbag situation maybe? And then maybe this? Maybe? Do you think? I don't, I don't know. I feel like this is gonna be a bad time, but. I hold the office trash. Oh, we have to reach the piano. Dang it, okay, we gotta get past Miss Zoo, never mind. Oh god, it was ineffective. Because I held up the garbage bag! That's the airbag! Okay, wait, oh, I gotta get past her. Her snake arm is threatening us. Okay, so now we do the clear liquid and the matches? Maybe? Because the snakes didn't like the heat. Maybe? I scatter the liquid and ignite it with matches. Ineffective! Okay, cool. The snakes are confused by the mass of flames and are unable to aim. Uh. Oh god, her face is so gross! I don't like it! Ew! Um. Yuzu! <laughs> Please! <laughs> Thank you, Ane. <laughs> you see, what do I do? Do I? I need. I gotta get to the piano. Do I use the? It is the third round. Do I use the charm? Yeah. Is it? Do I use the amulet? That and the match. Oh, hatchet and cart. Okay. Hatchet. Wrap around my arms as I swing to stop my attack. I look for something to play the song. Miss Zoo is stuck in place. We can get to the piano now. Okay, 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 okay. Miss Zoo stiffens as if she's paralyzed. Miss Zoo is weakened. Okay. Uh. Now what? Oh, I am lagging so bad, you guys. My my model is at least. What what do I do next? We gotta get out of here so I can be freed from the lag. Last round is the amulet and matches. Do I do that right now? I'll try it. What have I got to lose? Try to ignite the, the amulet. Great, Asura! Round 
four should be the last. Okay. Miss Zoo shrieks when she sees the charm go up in flames. She clings on to me, scrambling to get get it back from me. <laughs> Gah. Ew, pressed together, my sweat squelches as it mixes with her bottle. Ew, that's so gross. Asura's Aizen's, uh, Asura Aizen's charm disintegrates to ash in Miss Zoo's hands and scatters to the air. Oh god, oh no. Her eyes pin me in place with their intense fury. How dare you? Did I, uh, did I fuck up? How dare you? Great Asura! The snakes on Miss Zoom's arm raise their heads to swiftly strike at their prey. Uh oh. But their fangs sink into. Miss Zoo's torso. Oh! Does the charm not protect her anymore? Why? Yeah, her face is horrible. I can't wait for it to be away from my eyes. The snakes are feasting on the places where she touch, touched my... Oh! Is it because of my human smell? It's because I smell like a human? They devour her torso, the only part of her that is human, and she squeals with joy. Kimochi! <laughs> no, it doesn't! After consuming their host, the snake arms detach and fall to the ground. Wriggling their half-torn bodies, they vanish into the darkness. Uh, well, good for her, I guess? I, I, good for her, I guess? At least I'm out of Lag City. I don't know why some of these fights make me lag and the other ones don't. I don't sense Zoo Sensei anymore. D did we do it? Ahime! I hope you stay alive, my darling. I love you so much. Ahime is back to normal. Her mark is probably gone. But mine still remains. A pig head installed with shark teeth DLC. Oh, God. Why do you have to say it like that? That's so bad. I hate it. Uh, shark teeth DLC. Blech. <laughs> My teethsies are much better than hers. Ang, 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 ang. But as expected, my mark is still there. So there are still spirits in this city, huh? I don't know. According to Yuzu, just one more. There's only one more chapter to go. And then, well, there's also the DLC. But Yuzu said it's not relevant to the main story, so it's okay. Yeah! Ang, 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 ang. My teethsies! The look on my face is probably obvious. I looks at me apologetically. I I've I've gotten used to it. <laughs> Thank you for all the emote love. I'm just glad you and Yasuoka are safe now. Dokizu-san. Anyway, I wonder what this is. There's a folded paper on the ground where Zeus Sensei vanished. I open it and find it's an old map. Shining the flashlight on it, the first word I can see is army. Is it the base? The army? The, the underground bomb shelter? Is this what Miss Hiro said was stolen from her? Oh. It could be. Or it'll lead us to what was stolen from her at the army bunker. I put the map in my bag. Then we finally bid farewell to the music room and its beast and perfume smell. Gross. Now time for a spooky moment where Aihi may might or might not die. But Yuzu said we did the, the good one. Oh, well, wait a second. Did you drop something? I want to bring that sheet music. A reminder of my music beating evil. Uh, you know what? That's a good souvenir. You know, this would make a great inspiration for a new song. I don't think we ever went inside the bunker. Yeah, we tried to go inside, and then the homeless guy scared us, I think. 
I kind of don't want to linger here, though. Yeah, yeah. I'll just be too sex. H hey. Moe chun did the same thing to me. I dashes back inside the music room before I can say anything in reply. Jeez. Do, 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 do. This is where something scary would happen if Aihime dies, right? <coughs> Inspiration, how he may. <laughs> what will those lyrics be exactly? She totally does what she wants. Christy was the same way. Is this what happens when you become famous? No, I'm being unfair. Yeah! Aihime! <laughs> Mr. Nokizu! Are you okay? Would you, what happened? What happened? I burst out of the room and clings to me. What happened? A, a snake! It fell from the ceiling, it hit my shoulder and slipped down my back! Oh, if it's not poisonous, it's harmless. They're just little noodles. She's nearly in tears. Get it off me! Oh, okay. I feel around her back as she hangs on me. I'm gonna laugh if it wasn't a snake. <laughs> There's nothing there! Huh? Nothing there. You you can let go. When you grab my neck, it's hard to... Oh! She's choking me. She's just like, help me! And it's like, ugh, I can't breathe. Ugh. <laughs> S sorry. But I was telling the truth. It was a ghost snake. I definitely felt something. Maybe it fell off as you were running. So did you grab the sheet music? Oh, yeah, it's all done. I would hate to see what happens to Aihime uh, when the snake falls on her if we did the bad ending. I guess I'll find out someday if I go through and do the bad endings. I'm sorry to make you wait. Madam Yasuoka and Miss Hiro are expecting us, so let's head back. We leave the school, climb into the car, and head to the mansion. Oh, ad time! Sorry, those of you who have ads. Hey all, we're back! Oh, welcome back. I believe I must thank you. My mark has indeed vanished. I still have mine, though. I, I mean, it, not that I believe it's going to kill me or anything. It doesn't bother me at all. She talks tough, but the whole time she's clenching her teeth. Oh, God. I, I'm glad it doesn't do that clenching teeth sound where the teeth are chattering. Like, some anime does that, and it... Ugh, the sound just puts me on edge. I hate that sound so much. Where, like, the teeth are creaking. And it's like, bro, you're gonna fucking smash your teeth. They're gonna shatter like glass. Yeah, oh, God. There was a character in Demon Slayer. God, I don't remember. I was trying to rewatch it for my, my niece, because she's into it. But, like, there's a character who, like, grinds his teeth like that. <laughs> Like, hyperspeed is, like, the worst. I hate, ugh, I hate <laughs> that, that single tiny-ass fight. I hate it, but, like, ugh, the sound is so bad. It's so bad. Luckily, it's just the one encounter, I think, but it's bad. Uh, more importantly, Mr. Dokizu, uh, did Sukawa have anything on her? I forgot what voice I gave her last time, so... You mean this? Hey, go. I pulled the old map out of my bag. Y yes, that's it. It's an important family heirloom. Hiro snatches up the map out of my hand without even so much as a thank you. You're welcome. Oh, hmm. I guess you deserve a reward. Here, have this instead. Oh, no, I think I gave her a gloomy voice because she was like, I almost died, but whatever, or something, right? Maybe? Now, nah, whatever. 
She takes a purple notebook from her coat. The color is different, but the design matches the red notebook we found in the shelter. It's Sakawa's diary. It was in her room. It looks like she was still sane when she wrote it. I can change it when she gets spooked. People sound different when they're spooked. I take the notebook from her. It seems Miss Zhu was interested in that map of yours, Miss Hiro. Could you tell us more about it? No. It's basically just a treasure map. Well, now I want to know even more. Where's the treasure? I want to see it. Oh, we should have taken a look earlier. Bing dong, bing bong. Wait. The clock begins to chime. It's almost dawn. Everyone should go get some sleep. Let's go, Mimi's. You can use any room on the second floor. Welcome back from the break, everybody. Yay. <laughs> from the ad break. Thank you. That would be lovely. Also, Aihime and Yasuoka. Uh, oh, Aihime and Yasuoka. I'm the one talking. Sorry, I'll do an impression of you. You must leave the ma mansion tomorrow. There's no need for you to stay here now that your mark is gone. Oh, dear. Are you telling me to leave you and Miss Hiro here by yourselves? Please don't joke. Saya specifically requested my assistance. I'm grateful, really. But those who have escaped the mark should return to their normal lives. That's the dying wish of Saya Kujo and Mary's as well. But... Yasuoka, I'd like you to help out in another way. Um, I, my boyfriend, he left the manor too. Could you give him a message for me and tell him that I miss him and he should come back and hold my hand? Just, like, for a little bit. <laughs> I'm sure you know other people in the supernatural phenomenon field. Can you research the mark with your knowledge and connections? An investigation like that is beyond me. I know practically zero about spirits. This is the only thing I can think of. If Mary were still here, it'd be different, but... Yasuoka stares at me silently. I stare right back into her eyes, not turning away. <laughs> Fine. <clears throat> I thought Grandma was going to take over Mary's duties and we get to see her sprawled casually over the couch. <laughs> like, she's just, like, lounging. Just, like, draw me like one of your French girls, but she's just sitting there munching on, like, a plate of cheese. <laughs> that would be incredible. I want to see Grandma relaxing. I'll leave the legwork. I'll leave the legwork to the young. I'll do what I can to help. Besides, if I stayed behind, I'm sure Miss I would want to as well. I'm counting on you. Of course, I won't let you down. Her voice and posture exude confidence and reliability. I'm sure it's a good part of why she's so successful as a fortune teller. It's like old Marilyn Monroe style shot. Yes, that'd be so good. However, I shall rest for today. These old bones are exhausted. Well, you read a lot of German for me. Like, a lot of German. Good night. Good night. Dokizu san! Are you sure you'll be okay without me and Madame Yasuoka? Yeah, I've survived this long already. I'll manage somehow. Unease is bubbling up within me, but I push it down and force a smile. I can't let her worry about me. Okay, then I'll trust you. But you better promise me. When your mark is gone, you'll come to one of my concerts. Promise? <laughs> if I get a VIP pass. Does this influence anything? <laughs> Does this change? I, how? I mean, yeah, of course I'll go. I'm not going to milk a VIP pass out of her just, just for something like this. If she wants to offer me one, that's one thing. I'm not going to ask for it. <laughs> you better. 
Okay, I'm heading up. <laughs> Good night, Mr. Dokizu. Hayasumi! Jeez. So you're saying I have to stay? Not that I care. I thought you didn't believe in the Mark's curse because it's unscientific. Uh, of course, there's no way in hell I believe in something like that. But it's also true that I haven't found any solid proof to deny it either. And Miss Yasuoka and Miss Aihime Marks really did up and disappear. So I've decided to stay here and see how this plays out. That's all. It's the truth. I can see she's desperately trying to hide that she's terrified of the supernatural. Ah! Uh, well, I owe you for saving me, so I'll tell you a bit about it. It could be related to the mark somehow, too. About what? Are you talking about the map? Yeah. Oh. It's of an underground shelter in Age City. You mean in the Swiss Cheese Alley? Yeah, I saw it. There's a homeless guy who lives there. The only... Uh, the only way Zuk uh, Zukawa found that shelter was because of this map. Not sure why she'd be eager for an old map of facilities that have to be 50 years old. That's a secret. It's just... It's possible that... Whatever turned Zukawa into a monster is down there in that shelter. <gasps> it was the homeless man! He has supernatural powers! He's turning people into ghosts! By murder. <laughs> <coughs> what? What do you mean? I've already told you. Uh, told you that I have no intention of giving you any details. What if old man is ghost? Dun dun dun! I'm too tired, so I'm going to bed. Okay, good night. Oyasumi nasai. Hiro makes her way upstairs to the rooms. The end of our last conversation swirls around in my noodle. The shelter. Arm. Zukawa transforming. And the deja vu I felt down in the shelter. What does it mean? Oh. It's no use. My brain is too tired that the words are just repeating nonsensically over and over and over and over and over and over. I can't get my thoughts in order. I may as well go to bed for today and dream about my boyfriend. And then he actually shows up in the morning and gives me coffee! Go to the next chapter with talk. Talk to who, though? My, my, my dear sweet Mary isn't there. All right, guys, you ready for the next chapter? Are we ready for the next chapter of this saga? Oh, Mary isn't here anymore. Should I rest for today? Yes, I'll rest. Where's Mary? I want her back. Uh, I decided to rest for now. Mary. I miss her so much. Oh. I want her back. Where's my Mary? My sweet girl. It's been nearly a day since we found Mary. Oh, Mary. We're like a boat adrift on the ocean without a compass to guide us. Who knows where the currents will take us? Will we find salvation at the end? Oh, Mary. My dear sweet Mary. Hey, Mr. Dokizu. Looks like we wasted a whole day. Is it going to be like this every day? Uh, kinda. If you're done checking here, why don't we take a look outside? We don't even have the black bunny to guide us because the bunny died too. Mary said unnecessary contact with outsiders could speed up the Mark's curse. And if I lose any more of my memories, I'm not sure I'll be able to function. For the past 10 days, the only person I've spoke to is the convenience store clerk. Oh, good. They, they at least covered how I've been getting food. Ah, that explains why we've only had TV dinners and snack food to eat. But sitting and waiting isn't going to accomplish anything. I'd rather not wind up forgetting my own name like you. 
Not that I completely believe that the curse is real. She raises her voice to hide how it shakes. She's still stubbornly sticking to her denial of the existence of spirits and the mark. But I know she's already accepted it. After all, she went through it herself last night. Ghosts and curses don't exist. Why'd this have to happen to me? Ah. <laughs> I called it! <laughs> Hiro startled at the sudden knock. A visitor in the middle of the night. I don't need Mary to know it's a mark bearer. Who's our party members this time? Gather your adventuring party. Sorry to impose on you so late. <gasps> Hello! A tall, thin man walks in. He's a doctor! His skin is white as a sheet, and dark circles nearly swallow his eyes. He's an overworked doctor! Which, I mean, is most of them, but he looks especially so. It's almost like a dead person stands before us. Another smarty type, right? Are we gonna have all brains in this party now? I'm gonna... I mean, I was already the dumb one, but I'm gonna be the dumb, dumb one. You're... Oh. You're... You're Dokizu and Hiro, right? I heard about you and the mark from Yasuoka. Yeah, Yasuoka before I came here. Something about a Miss Zoo, too? It sounds like you had a rough night. Are you a mark bearer, or did you come to give us a checkup? He seems to know Yasuoka. Maybe she's following through with her promise to send him to and send him to help us. Well, let's get introductions done. I'm Shuji Daimon. Shuji! Shuji san! <laughs> I think you can guess my occupation. You're a doctor! Wearing this thing means I don't have to explain. Thank goodness. Oh, he heard me! <laughs> He gestures to the stethoscope around his neck. You're a dentist. No. <laughs> You're a carpenter. You gotta listen to the wood before you take your choppies. What kind of business brings a uh, what kind of business brings a doctor like you here? Diamond's eyes flicker over at the suspicion in Hiro's tone. No need to be so defensive. I have the cursed scar, same as you. The mark. He unbuttons- <gasps> He got it on his chesty? Or is it on his tummy? A familiar mark on the left side of his chest. <gasps> Dang, Ghosty was like, mm, this boy fine, I'm gonna take a bite out of him. And they just bit him directly on his man boob. <laughs> Ghost is like, I gotta have that titty. <laughs> Not a doctor, he's a cosplayer. <laughs> I love that so much. <laughs> Try him for that tibby. Let's go. <laughs> listen, listen. If I were a ghost and he was Leander, I would do it too. <laughs> you gotta bite the tibby. It just suddenly appeared one day. Though, to be honest, I never thought it happened to me. Maybe it's punishment for being stupidly curious about it. Curious? Do you know? Did you know about the mark before Yasuoka mentioned it to you? Yeah, that's right. There's mention of a strange scar in my grandpa's records as a military physician. <gasps> oh, military, army, bunker, it's all coming together! I did some personal research. A military physician's records would mean they'd be from the Second World War. More than 50 years ago. But that doesn't add up. Rumors of the mark only st started about a month ago now. That's probably because this is the second coming of the mark! If it was mentioned in those records, the rumors would be much older. There's a reason for that. Patients with the symptoms were kept in a secret army laboratory. <gasps> the bunker! After the war, all top secret documents related to the lab were burned. Except the clinical records I found. A secret lab, huh? That's kind of hard to believe. 
Dr. Diamond, you don't mean to say the mark was used as some sort of biological weapon? Every country had at least one or two soldiers who were divinely possessed. People only called on gods when they were in trouble. It was the end of the war, and they were backed into a corner. Huh? Wait, they used they use the mark as a weapon? Against who? How, how unscientific. Don't you think so, Mr. Dukizi? I mean, we can't deny it possibly? I don't know. Wait, that's so... Wait, using the mark as a biologic... I don't... I don't know. Yeah, World War II. I don't know. I don't... I don't think it's... When, when did the things with the Buddha statues happen, though? I don't, I don't think, I don't know. I don't know. I guess so. You seem pretty calm about this. It may be your cautiousness is what has kept you alive this long. However, it's hard to picture the mark being used as a weapon. Yeah, it's kind of, it, I don't know. It doesn't make sense to me. But, I mean, video game logic, anything could happen. It seems the 13th Army Engineering Lab was developing something. It was called the Cannon Soldier. Cannon Soldier? It all makes me think of the... Uh... Body... Body... His... His... Tavta, his... His Hisatva cannon. Bud His Satva cannon. That is a very hard thing for me to say. Bud His Satva. Does that sound right? Bud His Satva? 50 years ago, and the Buddha statue. The Buddha! The Buddha. It's the Buddha statues. It can't be. Dr. Diamond, where is that lab? Is it is it in Swiss Cheese Alley? And he's like, how did you know? Unfortunately, I have no idea. Sorry. Let's go to Swiss Cheese Alley! He might have developed the curse markers, etc. based on old folklore. Hmm. I don't know. That sounds really weird. Yeah, we need to go to Swiss Cheese Alley and, and find out. I feel like all the answers are in Swiss Cheese Alley. The documents my grandfather kept don't have any details about it. Do you like the nickname I gave the alleyway you do, Swiss Cheese Alley? <laughs> it's delicious. I see. Uh, hey, Mr. Dukizu. That 13th Army Engineering Lab. It's the shelter Zukawa went to. <gasps> it is Swiss Cheese Alley. She pulls out her old map. I thought you named it that because it stunk. Oh, no. <laughs> I mean, you know, that's also fair. But it's because it's got all the manholes. I'd wanted to keep it a secret. But I'd rather not die from this mark. I'll tell you. This shows the entrance to the 13th Army Engineering Lab. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Are you serious? <coughs> <coughs> I guess a good thing I had to actually cough. In his, exci in his, in his excitement, he starts coughing. M my apologies. Where did you get that, Hilo? My grandfather passed six months ago. We were sorting his belongings. Isn't the idea of a secret lab just fascinating? So I thought I'd look into it. And then Miss Zhu, uh, the Zukawa, stole it. I accidentally let it slip to her. She loved strange experiments like that, so it probably stuck with her. I thought as much, though. Whatever turned her into a monster is down in that secret lab. That's a pretty unscientific line of reasoning. No, it sounds like a pretty logical hypothesis to me. Also, we don't even know where Zoo Lady's As Asura-san came from, uh, who he is beyond Miss Zoo's per uh, perspective. That's true! 
It might be the hobo, or the hobo might know who that is. Or, sorry, not hobo, homeless man. The homeless guy. I apologize for saying hobo. That was not, that was not okay. Uh, using the occult to turn yourself into a monster is utter nonsense. Okay. But if there's a scientific method behind it, I'll have to consider it. I suppose that's just how she is. Was your grandfather involved in the lab in some way, Hiro? Hmm, he could have been. All I know is he was an engineer with the rank of captain. Wait, hold on. You're both grandchildren of people involved with the engineering lab? And now both of you have the mark? Hmm, coincidence! I think not! Yes, that would be correct. That and our lab coats are probably all Hiro and I have in common. Yeah, it's sus as fuck! He could be connected, could be the, the ghosty who gave our guy Mark, but also might. I think it might have to do with the connection between their grandpappies. From what we understand, people with the Mark appeared in the secret lab 50 years ago. There might be something there that'll help us find the truth behind the curse. That's also the origin of the Kanon Soldier. A name that reminds me of a statue. The traces of Miss Zoo in the shelter. It might be all connected to the Buddha statues that were stolen from a shrine. Dr. Diamond gave us a lot of info. We'll have to thank Yasuoka for introducing him to us. Indeed. The fates are indeed mysterious. Dr. Diamond, will you help us? Yes, of course. That's why I fucking came here. <laughs> Just don't expect anything physical. <laughs> I wasn't expecting anything physical, but if you don't mind, I can give you head pappies. That is the most physical that any of this will get. Are you sick? You don't look so well. Oh, it has been two hours, but I don't work tomorrow, so bleh. How's everybody doing? I can go longer if we want. We're not at a point where I can save yet, but, you know. Yes, something like that. I don't practice what I preach. <laughs> his dry laugh sounds like he's deflecting. He's abnormally thin for a man his age. It's possible that he's gravely ill. So, we're heading to the shelter? Now about that. We were stopped from going further by a locked door. I'm okay, but my also falls like, that's okay if you go Mimi's. I'll try not to be too noisy. That strange old man was there, too. I doubt he'll cooperate with us, though. It'll be difficult to break in from there. Hmm. Where did you enter the shelter? A manhole on K. Michi... Uh, on, on K. Miyama... Miyamachi North Road. I do have to go to the office tomorrow, so I will have to bounce now to get ready. Aw, well, maybe I will stop it once we get to a point where I can save. Because I do... It is very warm in my room, and my computer is struggling. <laughs> but we'll have to finish up Deathmark once we're done with my next life as a villainess. All rest lead to doom. Hmm, I see. You see the all. <laughs> She opens the map and studies it. You're right, an entrance is there. But there seems to be another one. It's at M No South Alley. Have you tried going there? Yes! I'm so excited for you guys to meet Katarina! I love her so much! I mean, we have a collab on on Wednesday in the afternoon first. And then Thursday will be the first night of my next life as a villainess. All routes lead to doom so long as I get the game in time. It's supposed to ship to me tomorrow, so we'll see. No, not yet. Then let's go there. Lucky. Hopefully we can get in. New info was added to the spirit file. Rumors of the Kanon soldier. Yes! I want to see all hypes in the chat when we start, Katarina! Oh, I can save now. Alright. 
Well, we're gonna save on one, so it'll be easy for me to just start over. <laughs> All right, well, this is actually a good point to stop. We just started the next chapter. So the next time we play this, it'll be all new, aside from just, you know, the little bit of exposition and meeting our characters. And, uh, and then maybe we can, we can try and get as far into this last chapter as we can. This is very exciting. But for the time being, I'm going to bid you all good night and a sweet, pleasant memes and wonderful dreams. Now we do have quite a few people here, so we can... We can raid out to somebody if you want. Um, if you guys want to stick around just for some points, you don't have to stick around long. I can see who's on. Um, but after this, let me see. Oh goodness, I can't click on stuff. Oh, I want it, no, give it to me in a, this, like that, okay. Um, let me just pop that here. Yeah, okay, let's raid out to somebody and figure out where we're gonna go. <clears throat> um, no, I don't want... Can I... Stop. Oh my god, I want... Dashboard. Sorry, my computer is... This computer is struggling. <laughs> um, uh, so I'll see you guys on... Uh, what's the word I was gonna say? <laughs> I'll see you guys on freaking the other day, on Wednesday, <laughs> when I do the collab stream. Oh my god, I can't words with my brain. Um, but for now, let's see who we have. Um, I, I mean, Sasu hasn't started streaming yet, so I can't send you guys all, all over to, to my boo Sasu. Um, We've got Sinu, we've got Greyback, and we've got Wounds. I really only have Wounds, I guess. Not very many choices. Do you guys just want to go pop over and say hi to Wounds? Should, should we go say hello? Aw, thank you for the blankie, you guys. <laughs> I'm all cozy, mosey, toasty. Wounds is playing Outlast Trials, I think. Or just Outlast. I don't know which one. It just says Outlast. Um, but he's the only one I really have on right now who is active. Gotta run to bed, but enjoyed the stream. Okay. Well, thank you for joining in the stream when you did. Um, I think I'll just pop us all over to Wounds, so that way you guys can get some points. You guys can drop out if you want, but just stick around if you want a couple extra points. Um, I'll see you guys on Wednesday for the collab if you can make it. Otherwise, I'll see you all on Thursday for some Katarina. So stay healthy, stay happy, stay hydrated, and have a great rest of your night. I love you guys. Bye!